Have you ever felt jealous, felt insecure, or wanted something that someone else had? Well, jealousy is a complex emotion that encompasses feelings of suspicion, rage, fear, and humiliation. Now, if we're meeting for the very first time, my name is Daniel Tolson, and I'm joined with my very good friend, Dr. Joe Isaac. Hey. Hello, hello, hello. And of course, welcome back to creating your own new limitless world. I have been getting a lot of questions about jealousy different types of jealousy. I don't know, people are becoming very creative these days, Daniel. They're even saying, you know, professional jealousy, a relationship jealousy, money jealousy, there's different categories. And we're going to keep this live very straight to the point. We're going to dial in real quick on how to diagnose it, how to handle it, and how to use it to your advantage. In terms of jealousy, then what's your most recent story that you have heard about jealousy? I know that you got a story, hit me up. Well, I'm going to tell you, uh, I'm going to tell you my story, but I'm going to tell you some three really common ones that I've seen with men. So men, be careful. Be careful what you wish for. First of all, is there's penis envy. <laughs> That's a professional one. That's yeah. penis envy, car envy, and also body jealousy. So I've seen this a lot with men. And then the ladies, partner envy, character envy, and also comparing your rings and your jewelry. But uh, an example for me, when I started my business, uh, there was another business coach in my space, and he had more clients than me. He mm. was making more money than me, and he had bigger events than me. And I kept asking myself, why can't I have that? Why can't mm. I have that? And I wanted what he wanted, but I didn't want to do the work. I didn't want to put in the time and I didn't want to put the money in that he was doing. And I, interesting was I ended up resenting him. I ended up hating him. I hated seeing his Facebook. I hated seeing his YouTube. And I'd always bitch and moan and complain about what he had had and I couldn't get. Mm -hmm. And so I couldn't grow my business to where he had his, but I started to resent him and myself. And right. secretly, and I, I don't want to say this publicly, I even wished right. that he would fail, but it was all that jealousy inside of me. And so that was yep. one story for me many years ago. It took me a long time to get over. So I, from a psychological perspective, then this is a very healthy sign that you are able to verbalize this experience and know that it wasn't a good experience yet you've taken to your advantage, which is really our topic today, jealousy. I know a lot of people that watch us all the time. They always see me. I'm giving them steps, step by one, two, three, four, do this. I can tell you that you can get rid of jealousy. So today I'm not going to be able to give you solutions where, okay, how to stop jealousy when people are becoming jealous of you. I'm not going to be able to control that. However, what I'm going to give you today is how you can take that as power and direct that power to your advantage. So take it, use it and consume it to a better you. Now, I want to add more to what you said then about the types of envy. Now, envy and jealousy are not exactly the same. However, if we keep them on the same wavelength and the same umbrella, be very careful that you may not even know how many types of jealousy are out there. This person was told that, ah, oh, I've had a good night's sleep, eight hours. The other person is like, oh my God, you are so lucky. And I could see through that story that this person was extremely jealous and extremely jealous of what? Not money, not penis size, no nothing. Just because you managed to get eight hours sleep and this person has got sleep apnea. My point of the illustration of the story is sometimes you might think, uh, what are the people going to be jealous of me? I'm, I'm nothing. I got nothing. Whatever you think that you got nothing is somebody else's value. It could be the smile on your face. It could be that you have a wife that loves you. It could be that you put your head on the pillow and you fall asleep right away. You will have no idea. So it's inevitable. There is no way you can stop jealousy whatsoever. Full stop. There is no way. But what you can do to take that into your advantage. Number one, we're talking about two things. Either people jealous of you or you are jealous of someone. So depending on where you are, you're going to wear different hats. And this is the part where we're going to play with different hats to direct the power to the direction that we want things to go. So for instance, let's say I am, this is not true, but just as an illustration, okay? I hope nobody jumps in the middle of the video and just hears that part. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say for instance, that you are jealous of someone. Okay, direct that jealousy towards all the things that they had to do to get where they are. So back to Dan's story. Now this person, he's talking about business-wise, he had to maybe have sleepless nights. Maybe had to spend a lot of money for courses. Maybe had to do one, two, three, four. Look and direct what we call the focus, the area of focus, which is about here. Just like the camera right now, you can see me sharp. You see, you see my face sharp, but do you see my hands and the chest kind of blurry? Because right now my eyes and this part here is the area of focus. So what you want to do metaphorically is to look at all the downfalls and all the struggles that this person has to do to arrive where they are at, whether it is the money or love or whatever it is. Now, even for love, you know, a lot of people have been asking me these questions lately on um, a lot of interviews about the love. I have been rejected. I don't know how many times, a lot. So it's easier to say that I have been rejected for years. 
because after that after the effort i have put now i don't get rejected full stop so put the energy towards what the did this person have to do to become the person they are in the level that they are and this will help your jealousy to tune down because you'll see oh this is a lot of a lot of stuff that's from my side well, I like what you're saying. And the first thing that I want to share today uh, in terms of strategy was the first thing you can do is you can stop comparing yourself. And this is what you're saying here in, in other ways, but we spend a lot of time comparing what we don't have. So we focus on what we don't have and we fail to focus on what we do have. And one of my big lessons, Joe, when I was starting my business, I looked at this other coach and he had all these things that I didn't have. But mm -hmm. once I started to get to know his situation, I started to feel differently about myself. I looked at his customers and I started to realize they weren't the customer types that I wanted to work with. And yeah. so I actually started to see the bigger picture. And I like what you said about here. It's like the foveal vision. We can see what's in front of us, but sometimes we don't look at the peripheral. And so I had to Correct. look at myself and I had to look at it objectively. And the other thing was I was looking at what he was doing as a person. And mm. I looked at and I said, do I want to sell my soul to the devil nah. to have his business? Yeah. And the answer was no. And so I only compared what I could see which made me jealous. But as I started to expand that vision and I started to get the bigger picture, I went, no, I actually don't want what he's got. I want more of what I've got. And as I started to focus back on myself, the jealousy disappeared, the comparisons Absolutely. disappeared, and I felt a lot of joy for what I'd created, but also very satisfied because of who I had on my team. Although, although easily said then, uh, we have to forgive the people because this process is a subconscious process as much as we can tell ourselves and tell them don't compare we still you know don't think about chocolate what are you thinking about now <laughs> chocolate <laughs> so another tip you can look at yourself and try to direct your jealousy towards yourself for example okay today i slept eight hours i produced x amount of work uh, i am happy this much i'm just giving you a metaphorical example okay tomorrow break that record so you can see that the other person behind the person yesterday is always jealous of the next person tomorrow which is actually you you're both in the same end another thing that can really help you trick your mind facebook is a very good example and i me and dan always talk about things like this on facebook in our previous comments look at your videos that you are putting someone puts a picture people are putting all these pictures on it nobody gives a damn about whatever it is that you're doing and you're getting 20 likes when you have 600 friends explain that to me it is jealousy yeah, come on, we both know, and especially on Facebook, and I, I know that this might upset some people, but you know what? If you get upset, I don't care. I'm going to say the truth, how it is, and if you get upset, you get upset, but then one day you might come and tell me, well, you know what, Joe, you're right. I actually opened my eyes towards the light, and this is the light. The people don't give a shit. They don't give a shit about you. They don't give a shit about your personal life. We love to share our personal life, which is normal human thing, but they don't care about it. That's why they see it. They don't. How hard is it? to like someone's post and i'm not saying love you see then i'm quite friendly here i'm not even saying love even though i personally love i actually do the love not the like thing the like is not even a second it's a fraction of a second why people don't do it oh yeah now i've been busy i haven't been on the platform possible but you haven't been on the platform for the last two or three years this person has been posting come on it's not really practical so at the end of the day i'm not s spreading hatred what i'm saying is i'm trying to wake you up to raise your awareness to what's happening if you really want your life to straighten up, first step is to look where you're at, where you want to go, to get a mentor, second step. And the third step, which is really evolutionary, this is the step that a lot of people, all these people that come on ads and promote themselves, Tony Robbins, I know people like me, teachers, you know, we're teachers, we just shit at promoting ourselves. I know this is a, a proper, uh, you know, popular statement about teachers, but all these people, they linger around that step. That exact step, you pay $7,000 for a day or two with Tony Robbins just to get that step. Now, let me tell you what that step is right now for free. And if you need help, me and Dan will help you less than $10,000, $15,000. The step is that you treat people fairly and equally. What does that mean? If they put you as priority in their life all the time, put them as priority in your life all the time. If they give you priority, priority once or twice, give them priority once or twice and calculate it as much as you can. Now, by all means, you can be the nice guy, but you know that sentence, nice guys always get to finish last. I'm telling you, the nice guys never get to finish at all. They get brushed off. This is the truth that everybody knows, but nobody's comfortable enough to say it in front of a camera. Jealousy is real and whoever tells you it doesn't exist, it does exist. And in fact, if you want to read more about this, I can put some links for research. And this is quite interesting. I don't know, Dan, if you know this, there has been a couple of books that showed very significant, interesting results 
in jealousy levels and power in terms of magnitude between Australia and the UK as joint versus US. Jealousy in wow. the US was actually much less. People will push you, people are positive. Here in Australia, if you tell them, yeah, I have a great idea, it's like, you sure nobody ever thought about this before? You sure this is gonna work in the US? <laughs> also, we have a great idea, let's go with it. Let's make something.